flu and respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, have circulated among the community this winter, with COVID in the mix as well. We've experienced what other countries have experienced. Spain has had a surge, UK has had a surge. This is reflective of mixing indoors during winter and also lower uptake of the seasonal flu vaccine. Uh, of over 90% of the cases we diagnosed of flu were in non-vaccinated people. So that indicates we had some good vaccine coverage and that was for flu A. We might still get a wave of flu B infections and that's why we're saying it's not too late to get your seasonal flu vaccine. We're pleased to announce next week we're starting our COVID booster campaign and you can request and still have a seasonal flu vaccine if you've not had one. You mentioned the COVID uh, boosters. Uh, people have been wondering why we haven't received them this year as, as early as other years. Is it a bit too late now for those vaccines to arrive? No, the vaccines have arrived. Um, we could have had an older version of a COVID vaccine and we could have boosted people at the same time as seasonal flu. I looked at the circulating strains, which are still offshoots of Omicron, and just may advise the government here that we should uh, order this new vaccine uh, that will cover us for the circulating strains. So the delay has been in the UK in terms of them ordering and delivering the vaccine to us. I'm pleased to say we're here, the vaccine is here now and we're hoping that this booster programme will cover people for the rest of the year. And uh, you've mentioned uh, those cases of flu and RSV. Have there been any severe cases? I mean, w what's been the picture like in terms of hospitalisations and severe cases? Yes, we've seen a number of elderly people hospitalised as a direct result of flu. Uh, and sadly, we've had a couple of deaths from flu. That is not unusual during a flu season, and this is why we like to stress the importance of seasonal flu vaccines. What advice would you give to anybody suffering from flu-like and COVID-like symptoms? Our advice is very much, you know, firstly, look after yourself. Paracetamol, fluids, stay at home, keep warm, keep well. If you are concerned, you can always phone 111 for advice. And we would strongly advise, we've still got people coming into the hospital who've got significant symptoms. And by that, I mean high temperature, really runny nose, coughing. And they're coming to see either loved ones as visitors or attend outpatient appointments. And our advice is very much if you've got heavy symptoms, please try and reschedule your outpatient appointments and think very carefully and try not to visit loved ones in hospital who might be vulnerable. The COVID vaccines will be available to those in higher risk categories, over 50s, those with long-term health conditions or who have a lot of contact with someone who does, pregnant women, those in long-term residential care and health and social care workers. The GHA will start to call high-risk people on Monday for appointments and you can also call 200 66966 between 9 and 3 to book a booster. The vaccinations themselves will start from Thursday.